The future of Pokemon cards is officially here because the brand new set Paradox Rift is just around the corner. But we're in luck today because I have an entire factory booster box case of the brand new set. The set's pretty special because it introduces ancient as well as future Pokemon. But without further ado, let's get an early opening in of the brand new set Paradox Rift. Alright, we have not one, but two booster boxes for today's video and uh, the wrap's really loose on these for some reason. It kind of... I don't know why, but it, it's a little bit different. But anyway, without with that out of the way, let's check this set out. All right, we're literally holding the future of Pokemon cards in our hands here because we are opening this a little bit early, around five days before release day. So we're going to be able to see all these really cool cards in this set. All right, but let's check it out. Um, I think there's going to be four different pack artworks. Ooh, dude, the colors look cool. It kind of looks like, kind of reminds me of Black and White Arrow, like Plasma Blast, I want to say, and Plasma Freeze. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, there should be one, two, three, four different pack artworks here. Again, Paradox Rift. Um, dude, let's let's crack these open. Let's get this thing going. But before I do that, I wanted to let you know that I'm giving away one booster box of Paradox Rift to one subscriber. So make sure to the giveaway by number one, smashing the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right, let's get started. Let me know uh, what you guys think of this set after we open it up and everything in the comments. I'm really curious because I hear a lot of different things about this set. Um, so yeah, I'd be just interested to see what happens. But here we go. We got the classic code card still still rocking the battle styles. Like like the least popular set. What am I doing? From uh, Sword and Shield era. But here we go. Fire Energy to start off here. Surskit. So again, this is three different sets combined into one. Uh, three of the Japanese sets. So Raging Surf is one of them. And then the two other sets literally are releasing at the same time as this. Like a few days before, which is like a new thing that's kind of happening with Pokemon now. It used to not be like that. But anyway, we got our two reverses. Garbodor. There's a really cool Garbodor illustration rare in the set. It looks actually pretty fire. And we got a Volcanion regular holo. And this set's actually pretty big. Um, I don't know if it's the biggest set for um, Scarlet and Violet, but it sure seems like it. Just looking at the, old, the whole set list, it actually looks like it might be the biggest set. We might be able to stream trying to complete this set. Let me know if you want to see that down below in the comments section. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> that was two different artworks in the set. I thought I was like pulling uh, the same card at the same time there. Okay. And then we have... Ooh, whoa, dude. I didn't know this was in the set. Yo, this is fire. What is this? Mewtwo EX? Oh my god, Terraform? Bro, I had no idea this was in the set. This is going to be so cool because a lot of times we open up sets of Pokemon cards in English and we kind of get like a teaser of all the cards in Japanese. So we kind of know going in like the card artworks. But this, I had no idea. I'm so happy I didn't really look at that set list. All right, our first pull, the Mewtwo EX Terraform. Man, that looks so sick. I'm so hyped for this. All right. I guess I'll do one from the back. I don't know. You don't really have to do that. But uh, let's see what happens. Lyperd. There's Wimpod in here. Benelux is back. Come on. Elikid. All right. Mantike. And a Ting Lu Hollow. Yeah, there's like seven different gold cards in this set. And, uh, oh, I mean, Obsidian Flames only had uh, three. So, like, just judging by that. Oh, my God. I keep doing the same thing. Um, just from that alone, there's a lot more cards in general in this set to collect. So... Let's go. Okay, and then like, oh, I'm sorry. Did I pass any ancient and future types? I did. I'm passing. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just really excited to get to like some of these big hits. But uh, so look, Iron Bundle. That's a future type, and you can see like the card actually has like a futuristic look to it. And then um, check it out. So like the ancient type. I wonder. Oh yeah, it does look like it has like a different uh thing on the side there. It looks kind of like sand and stuff. So it kind of makes it look like a fossil, I guess, or ancient or whatever. Um, that's pretty sick. Look at this reverse as well. And then the Groudon Hollow. But yeah, they have the ancient and future Pokemon for all the other rarities too. Like the, um, illustration rares and, uh, the gold cards and stuff like that too. So, I want to see if we get a big pull of one of these future and, uh, ancient cards. Panseer. Come on. Simipore. Oh, there's an ancient type too. Slitherwing. Yeah, kind of like fades. Oh, that's pretty cool. Kind of like fades out. Like sandy and stuff like that. Flip bug. Amaru's EX. Okay, not bad. We'll take it. All right, so that was the first four packs. We actually got two pulls. I'm curious what the pull rate's going to be on this set, too, because it uh, seems like Scarlet and Violet's kind of been a little bit all over the place. Like, it's definitely easier, but I don't know if uh, this is going to be as easy or not, especially with all these new cards and the set being so big. Gliger. Ooh, dude, some of these hollows with that future and ancient look. Dude, that is actually pretty sick. That's actually a pretty sick hollow. That is cool. I like... Oh, my God. Look, it's like hollow on there, too. 
And, uh, n okay, yeah, I like this a lot. This is actually pretty sick. Okay, so let's go and, yeah, I mean, either way, I'm going to try to complete this set. Whether it's through a stream or doing a whole bunch of videos, whatever we decide to do here. Uh, Sim is Sage. Oh, we got our first illustration where it's going to be the Joltik, which was in Raging Surf. Uh, but there's a ton that are, it, are in other sets. Uh, the two other sets in Japanese, so that should be cool. We got the Zashion as well, which we okay, 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 yeah. So uh, like, uh, most of these cards haven't even been pulled yet, which is pretty wild. We got Minin, so we're gonna be pulling some stuff for the first time here. Toad's Cruel, Slithering, okay, Ancient type there. Uh, Spinda, cool. Vanellux, all right, regular Hollow. Yeah, the pack artworks remind me of like the Black and White era, like Plasma Freeze and Plasma Blast. Let me know if you guys are getting that vibe. It's kind of cool. Loudred, Snorlax Daw. Ticket Sun, Durant, Luxurious Cape. I think you get this as a gold card, too. Palkia. Okay, some real black and white era uh, vibe. All right, let's keep rolling here. See what else we can get. But yeah, I like this. Might be my favorite pack artwork so far from uh, any of the Scarlet and Violet era. Pretty cool. Jirachi Reverse, Iron Moth, Future Type. Dang, with the red and orange and stuff. All right, but yeah, we, uh, we got to start pulling some bigger pulls. Let's see if we get some full arts, some special illustration rares, maybe a gold card. Um, yeah, let's let's see if we get some big pulls. Come on. Let's get one soon. Apom. Oh, just like that, baby. The special illustration rare cap Tapu Coco. Dude, this looks like some crazy like abstract watercolor type thing. That's super sick, man. Dang, it has like that sparkliness like on the actual borders and stuff too. Wow, okay. So we have that. We got a Porygon Z. All right, so this is easily our biggest pull. And I'm not putting prices or anything on these because uh, just the set's not even out yet. Don't go by any pricing, at least for the first, like, uh, honestly, like, first week or two of sets even released. I wouldn't even, I would just wait for everything to drop. But anyway, we got, all right, all right. The pulls are starting to pile up a little bit now. Let's keep going. We got Toxel, Spinda, Elekid, Dondozo, Iron Bundle, Horsey. Ooh, the Steelix, dude. I know there's like an illustration rare Steelix in this set. It looks crazy, but there's the regular hollow. All right, let's keep going and see what else we get. <clears throat> Purloin, all right. We got Gibble. We got Absol. Simba Sage, Pan Sage to go with it. What's behind? It's a little mushroom. She you hollow. All right, we've seen a lot of different artworks we have not seen yet. I'm really excited to start seeing some more of these illustration rares. Uh, Onyx is in here too. Tink a tink. But yeah, so let's see if we get some of those ones that we have not seen yet. Shin Pao. All right, Paradox. Paradox is so far so good. Let's see what happens. Phoebus. I'm very curious to see what our pull rate's going to be like. Aegis Slash, regular EX. We are getting a lot of stuff. Three EXs so far, I think. One Paraform Mewtwo. Five pulls so far that are EXs or better. I'm just going to count EX or better. I'm not really, like, obviously, hollows are in every pack. Uh, same with the reverses. Benelux. Well, minimum guarantee. Absol, Wu Chen. All right, we're almost halfway through this box. Five pulls so far. A Palm. We we've got a special illustration rare. Screamtail Ancient, pretty cool. Technical Machine, the Evolution, Porygon, Wimpod, Kingdra Hollow, nice. But yeah, the two Japanese sets that I'm referring to are going to be uh, Future Flash and Ancient Roar, and those are Japanese sets that just released. Uh, if you're watching this on release day of this, then yesterday, the 27th, is when it actually released. And um, if you guys want to see me open up those two Japanese sets, let me know down below in the comment section. Oh my god. This right here is definitely a new Pokemon. I'm going to say it's probably from, like, Ancient Roar. I'm not 100% sure, but, dude, the illustration rares are going to be crazy in this open. Okay. And I don't really know. I haven't even looked at the, the sets, the future Flash and Ancient Roar, but... I don't know if all the future mechanic ones are going to be in the future Flash, and then the uh, Ancient Roar have the um, the ancient cards in it. I don't really know if that's how it works or not. Dang, but I, uh, if you pull a, a, a future reverse of anything, it looks pretty sick. Um, Toad's cool. Melotic. All right, we're about to be halfway through this booster box, so let's see what we got on this one. We got Minin, Snorunt, Plusle, Slitherwing. We got Lyperd. Oh, here we go, man. A full art, Chantal. And you know what's crazy? There's so many different trainers as full arts in this set, too. I was looking at the list. It's actually cra Like, I think there might be 10 or more uh, just regular full art trainers and supporters and stuff like that, uh, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it's a big it's a big set. It's a big set, which is cool. Um, 
just more stuff to collect. Like, I felt like the other ones were a little bit uh, not as big of sets. Toxel, Deoxys Reverse, something's back there. It's the Garchomp EX Terraform. All right, Water Energy right behind it. And you know what I'm noticing on these? Well, I guess I'm just used to it from the 151 set, but uh, we do not have these reverse, or these energies that have the hollows. They're not in this set. Um, just the regular energies. Cedra. Oh, Magby, the Nellites. Professor Toro. There's a really cool one of uh, Professor Toro as a special illustration there. Zekrom. A lot of cool hollows in this set, too. You know what? A lot of people were saying that they weren't, like, going to be super hyped for this set, but um, it's different, and it's cool. Like, the future of Pokemon and stuff are pretty nice. Oh, the Garchomp has, is back. <laughs> this is uh, the Raging Surf Garchomp. We got it as the Terraform full art, and uh, we're just pulling stuff left and right now. We got nine pulls so far. I think we got, like, two full arts, one Ill only one illustration rare, surprisingly. Usually the point on those is pretty good. Uh, but one special illustration rare as well, and then a bunch of EXs. So, more Petco. And I haven't doubled up on any hollows. There's so many in the set. Usually, I feel like I get a lot more illustration rares in these, but maybe they tweaked it a little bit to make it tougher. Another EX. All right. I think this was enraging. Was this enraging Surf? I actually don't. No, no, maybe it wasn't. No, I don't think it was. But yeah, it's interesting because the Japanese sets are releasing now, like, at the same time, just about, on a lot of these newer sets which was completely different before Satsu, man i'm telling you these are the, probably the coolest hollows in any of these scarlet and violet sets so far in my opinion like they just all look so clean all right we're almost done this first booster box here getting uh like getting a taste of like a little bit of everything that's in the set but no gold yet uh and only one special illustration rare the sandy shocks magneton looks really cool too but all right let's go we got Deoxys is back. I think that might be the first hollow we doubled up on. Just getting so many. Surskit, Porygon, Aegislash, Phoebus. All right, so we got like six more packs in this first box. Then we're going to get to that second one, see what else we could do, and see how many pulls we get. I'm going to keep track. Give me a go. All right, we got our second illustration rare, baby. Let's go. This card is so clean. I pulled this in the Japanese version, too. and In English, it looks just as good, honestly. Wow, it looks really, really nice. We got 11 pulls so far. Still decent amount of packs left on this right side of this first box. Crustle. See if we can push that up a little further. 12 to 14 pulls total. Let's see if we can do it. Come on. Or Beetle. Ooh, Blitzel. Latios. Dude, the Pokemon and the hollows in the set are really great. I'm pretty um, impressed with the hollows. I'm pretty impressed. They're all really cool Pokemon to me. And artworks. Plus Soul, Parasol Lady, of course, is in this set from Raging Surf as well. <laughs> Roaring Moon, Ancient EX pull, man. What? 12 pulls now? 12 in total? Cool. So even on the EXs, it kind of fades to the side there. All right, three more on this first one. Come on. See what we can do. See what we can do. I want that luxurious cape as a gold card. I want that gold luxurious cape. Not the regular one. Flip Bug. Come on. Can we get a gold card in our last pack here? Otherwise, no golds in our first box. We'll see what we do. All right, Galvantula, Minin, Simipore, Palkia, a regular hollow. 12 pulls, and I actually miscounted. It was three illustration rares and then one special illustration. So I think we got about normal amount of special illustration, or illustration rares, I should say. We have box number two. I'm going to go through the packs a little bit quicker on the second box, uh, just so we can get this all into one video, and you can see how many big pulls we get out of here. Uh, without slowing down too much, but you can always slow the video down too if you change the speed or speed it up if you want to speed it up, but um, I'm gonna be going quick as it is so you probably don't need to speed it up if you need to slow it down feel free I might just sound a little bit more like uh, Deeper voice and slower. I'll be like Fue Coco or C Garbador there he is. There's my boy. All right, check this out. This is cool So this is a brand new artwork <laughs> And it makes, I'm telling you, illustration rares, any Pokemon, I don't care, turns into a banger automatically. Garbodor of all Pokemon. This is for the Garbodor fans, because this is probably the coolest Garbodor card in the TCG. Look at this thing. Garbodor literally sitting on a pile of trash at, like, the dump or whatever. And it's like, there's a couch, there's a bed, there's a washing machine, there's a volleyball. 
I don't know what that thing is. There's a dumbbell in there. There's a fan. Like, he got a little lamp. Like, that's like his bedroom, dude. Like, my boy is chilling. All right, let's keep going. Box number two. We got better pulls on this one or the first one? What do you guys think? What do you think? Oh, there you go. That is a cool future card. That's sick. All right, let's keep rolling, though. We got more packs to open up here. Let's keep uh, the speed, the intensity going here. Frostless EX. So that is going to be a Terraform card. Pretty cool. Kind of like the Mewtwo one. But honestly, dude, the Mewtwo one is pretty sick. That was a really nice first pull. That was a cool one to start off with. I was not expecting that. That, that looks sick to me. Um, let's go. I want a gold card of the future or ancient type or something. And, or a special illustration. Right? There's a whole bunch that look really nice. Um, I mean, they always do, though. Like, you know, special illustration rares kind of take the illustration rares to the next level. I mean, even though illustration rares are already really cool, um, some of them honestly are cooler than the special illustration rare version, depending on the artwork and the Pokemon you like and stuff like that. Uh, there's plenty of illustration rares that honestly are like right up there with the special illustration rares for me. Um, just depending on that artwork, the Pokemon, the style or, you know, everything like just personal preference. You can like whatever you like. doesn't matter. Glossopod. That's a pretty fire EX. All right. That's not bad. Pretty cool artwork, honestly. All right. All right. Let's go. Um, and yeah, again, remember to enter the giveaway uh, for a chance to win a sealed booster box of this set. And uh, giveaway winners are always announced every other Tuesday in the live stream de description of the, s the video or the stream. So you just check down there, see if you're one of the winners. That's it. Don't answer any weird fake accounts if it's not me. Do not answer it because that's not, uh, not me. It's a scammer. <clears throat> Mining. Only check the description. That's a nice artwork. All right. We are almost halfway through this box. We're actually flying through this one. And uh, the pulls are way less on this box on the left side. I only got three hits so far. Should be one. Yeah, here we go. Ooh. 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 We got a future type illustration rare. Dude, that's cool. Man. They really make the future ones actually kind of like pop like nicely with like the designs of them and everything like that it's got like a neon look i don't know if it's like the future or if we're like just chilling in like the 70s or something or the 80s or whatever but yeah it's cool it's like what the future we thought the future would look like 30 years ago all right mill tank blip bug four pulls so far first box had 12 this one we got four we're definitely behind compared to that first one iron moth but the right side of the box could always pick up the pace. And we still have three packs on the left side here. But let me know. What do you guys think of this set so far? Uh, I wish I could have showed you a gold card by now. Oh, ho, ho. Yo. Dude, this is a future one. <laughs> what? The way they have the background, I was not expecting that. Whoa. So it completely changed the design of the, like, the, the texture on the back. Whoa, okay. I'm trying to like feel how, how it feels there. Uh, like the actual texture. I'm trying to see it. So that's pretty fire. Okay. Three gold stars on the bottom, which is like, I guess, the highest rarity. You could say special illustration rares are pretty much as tough to pull as the gold card, too, though. All right, man. That's a future type right there. Five pulls so far. Left side of the box is definitely catching up. We're doing, uh, we're actually doing probably the same amount of pulls as the other box so far. Um,. On the left side, I think. I think we had like five or six on the left side. Ooh, dude, yeah, this is definitely, I want to say this is Future Flash, but I could be completely wrong. We're on to the right side, and uh, left side, honestly, end it with two crazy cards, almost three. That's a nice way to end it. Dude, it's not stop right now. Another Future card. So, like, the texture on these is like these little circles or whatever. Um, some of them are different colors, though, which is cool. We get the Iron Hands EX. Dude, I'm having fun with this one. This box might actually beat that first box. We're getting so many full arts and gold cards. No special illustration rare, though. A lot of times I'll notice you either get a gold card or a special illustration rare. Sometimes you get both. But sometimes I feel like it's one or the other. But let's see what happens. I can't believe how good we're doing. What is happening right now? What is happening right now? What? <laughs> Dude. The Tulip Full Art. Sorry, I mean Special Illustration Full Art. Special Illustration Full Art. That's crazy. There's only six in the set. We just got one and a gold card. I think this box is beating the first box. This box is this box is beating the first box. That's crazy. Eight pulls. Now we're doing really good. Eight pulls. So four more will be at the same amount as the other one. But we got gold and we got Special Illustration Rare. Toxtricity EX now. We got that Terraform. We're seeing all, like, eh, like all kinds of stuff. That's why I wanted to do two boxes. 
But I was like, alright, we gotta pick up the pace on the second one so we can at least get this all in one video because I know you guys have other things to do than watch just this. Cool. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We got nine pulls now. We got Durant. Alright. Alright, this is different. This is a little different. It's a little different of a, um... Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there's something in there. I think it's a regular EX. Let's see it. Simipur. Goldango. Okay, yes. There is the Goldango, the other one as well from, uh... Raging Surf, um, the special illustration rare. And I'm sorry, I was completely wrong. The special illustration rares, there's way more than six. There's uh, 15. There's like 15, but six of them are trainers. Yeah, this set's a good size. This, this is uh, this is definitely a set that's going to be... I think this is going to be the toughest set to complete for Scarlet and Violet era. I'm just going to say that right now. Judging by the set size, all the cards in the set. Pull rate's still good, but if you would need to pull... Uh, like 15 special illustration rares, six gold cards, and like 30 something of these illustration rares. We got the Wimpod chilling. What are they living in? Like a shed or something? No, wait. Oh, there's like an ocean underneath of it. Okay. So we have 11 pulls. Um, remember the first box had 12. We might actually do way better. I think, like, pull rate wise, we might do way better. We already have better pulls overall. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got Mill Tank in there chilling. Snorlax doll. Let's see what else we got. Come on. I say we got 14 pulls on the second box. That would be pretty awesome. Man, Screamtail is pretty sick as a reverse. Steelix back there too. Illustration rares though. Slacking on those, I feel like. Let me double check see how many we pulled, but there's still so many that we haven't seen. But luckily, we're gonna be opening up Paradox Rift probably for what's today. You guys are watching this on release day. It is Saturday. Um, week's over, but we'll probably be opening this up for at least five more days. Uh, probably longer than that because there's so many other products and stuff too. I want to show you guys uh, tomorrow we'll be doing uh, more new products of this set and all kinds of stuff. I'm excited to see all the ETBs. I'll probably do that one tomorrow, so make sure you come back tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Oh, let's go. This is not the special illustration rare version, but this is uh, the four. It's really nice, man. Professor Toro's scenario future card. Um, yeah, we might have a similar haircut, similar sort of like similar beard, similar eyebrows. Kind of, you know, you know. That might be a really good Halloween costume. I should have thought ahead, though, because I don't have anything for that. Dang it. I wish I thought of that. I, any, any, uh, any professor's <laughs> lab with lab coats just sitting around that I could borrow. All right. It would literally just be wearing a lab coat. It would be exactly the same <laughs> lab coat on. Uh, all right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tap of Coco. I think we're officially, uh, what are we at, like 13 pulls now? Yeah, 13 pulls with one more booster pack remaining. Let's see if we can make it 14 total. We just need an EX or better in this one. All right, guys, make sure you come back tomorrow for more Paradox Rift openings. We're going to be... I'm not doing a pack trick like that. We're going to be opening Elite Trainer Boxes probably tomorrow. So, yeah, just make sure you come back if you want to check that out and uh, see what that's all about. And, uh, yeah, we'll just be having fun with this for a little while here. Vanellish, Latios, can we make it 14? Chiyu. All right, 13 pulls on the second box. All right, guys, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want some more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.